Tim Flanagan, I'm here with Glenn Flake. We're at the SIA show for 2012, looking at 2013 products, Ski Gear TV Buyer's Guide. Glenn is the, one of the newest members of the National Ski Hall of Fame in Ishpeming, Michigan. By the way, they've got one of the best museums in the oh, country. Oh, it's wonderful. you got to yeah, yeah. get up there if you're ever up in the upper part of Michigan. Yeah, people always, you know, gotta go. people don't realize that. What, so where's the Hall of Fame at? You know, Colorado? I'm like, no, it's in Ishpeming. And you, yeah. you learn a little bit about ski history, it makes perfect sense that it's up there in the UP. Absolutely. Super cool, beautiful building. It's really nice. So yeah. well-deserved also because Glenn has Thanks. contributed <laughs> to the sport of skiing in a hundred different ways, not just in the persona, but also <laughs> in the development of equipment, which is what we wanted to talk to him about. Yeah, definitely. And Glenn has some patents on these boots, so let's run through them. Something that uh, you know, a lot of people are talking about is, is backcountry skiing, whether you're actually doing kind of just a, you know, a little bit off piece from the ski area or truly getting out into the backcountry. Uh, there's a lot of, like right now, there's probably more products being devoted to that than anything else in the ski industry right now. It's just a wonderful uh, explosion of, of products and development and, and opportunities. I mean, I've been skiing backcountry since I was a teenager. Shoot, it was all handmade equipment. It was a pain in the butt. It, I mean, you wouldn't want to tell that many people about it because you couldn't, you couldn't get enough friends to even want to go do it. <laughs> you know? so or now with the light gear, the, you, it's easy to use. So um, here at Dabella, we came up with a, with a boot line called Sherpa, and uh, I'm pretty proud of this one. Um, one of the things that happens in the in the backcountry world is you see people go into tour mode and the first thing they do is they unbuckle all their buckles, they try to get the boot into walk mode. We all see the people walking around the parking lot with their so-called walk mode boot, boots on, but the reality is they got all their buckles on, the girls got her real fancy pants, they're all up over the top. So I, um, I wanted to uh, invent a boot that truly had a real walk mode with the boot still buckled. So one click open, we use a two-piece tongue here and we get true, true walk mode, even though the buckles are still all together. Um, two other things that are going on in ski touring, you got your ultralight world, which is with a DinaFit binding or a, a low-tech binding that is based on uh, two pins that grab two inserts in the boot. Um, low-tech bindings are the rage in Europe, growing in this country. Um, so um, this boot has the low-tech inserts, um, so it's compatible with, with that style of binding. But a lot of people are using a step-in binding, whether it's something that Marker's doing or, or uh, Head's got a new one. So, I mean, everybody's the old Fritchy style bindings. The only problem is when you step into those bindings, you've always got a rubber isolator between you and your boot. Yeah. So um, it just, it always skied strange. You got a rubber isolator. So uh, we came up with our four pods here that actually make contact with the binding plates so that we have, it's hard to see with a black sole, but this way you have um, boot to binding contact through a dense material as opposed to Vibram. So it's the exact same kind of interface that you get the with the interface is the same. Shoe. Not necessarily for safe, it's not safety interface, it's just the touch Feel. of that binding to the ski. And uh, so, I mean, when you're running a low tech setup, you're great because you're attached to the, to the, to the shell. Um, but when you're running a more of a step-in style plate binding, um, these are really, really something. And uh, yeah, this is something that, yeah, we, we, we got patents on that. It's pretty funny to think about it, that I own a boot patent, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and believe it or not, there's some other companies out there that have contacted us. So I'm, oh. it's kind of cool that I actually, I have come up with something. Um, so anyways, we got this broke down into a couple models. The 5.5 five is kind of the 50% up, 50% down. Another thing that's happening is um, the old coach's boot, ski patrol boot, um, kind of the worker boot that, that always used the Vibram sole. Um, they were always some sort of, a, of an old Rondonet boot. They never skied worth a darn, but we've made these ski really good. You know, we've got the same, virtually the same cuff that we have on our Krypton models, so a lot of power there. Um, this boot does not have inserts, so the price comes down a little bit. And the other thing that's unique is a lot of bindings now are becoming um, Vibram sole interfaced. They are becoming safety bindings even with a Vibram sole. So um, if I was to predict the future a little bit, um, my mom skis in this boot. Oh, she does? She loves it. <laughs> she's got a walk mode. She's got Vibram soles. They're lighter than her old ski boots. And it's just wonderful. And um, if I can um, 
Yeah, if I had a, a magic wand, anybody that, you know, I wouldn't have a recreational skier in the world not skiing with a boot with a Vibram sole. I mean, they walk across the parking lot, they slip on the stairs. I mean, it's a pain in the butt. So let, let's do the good thing and give them, give them something that does exist and just put it in the right, into their hands. You know, right now it's, oh, this is the park and pipe, the backcountry free ride, right? Yeah. No, this is my mom's boot. <laughs> <laughs> but for the moment right now, we're using it as rondonet. Brilliant. And, <laughs> wow, and it is light. Yeah, yeah. These aren't super lightweights. I mean, we're not talking rondo race boots. We're in around the 1,700, uh, 1,800 gram uh, category. Um, but uh, just a wonderful segment that, that's growing and, um, if you don't have a pair of these, you're gonna. I mean, it's some of my ski instructor exams. People have been teaching in these. Shoot, you're in your boots all day, you know. Sure. It's a neat, neat, neat deal. Not only in our booth, but all around the show. You've got a, just a ton of, ton of products being designed and developed for, uh, for, for the touring, touring market. It's kind of cool. It's got that classic Dalbello buckle that brings it yeah. right across your instep. <laughs> Always. Locks your heel in. Absolutely. It's brilliant. No, the, one of the keys to having a three-piece boot, because this is also architecture similar to that. You got a cuff, or uh, a cuff, a shell, and a tongue, and uh, and really the the Dynalink buckles that pull that heel into the pocket. That's that makes it work. All right, so these are going to be out in 2013. Yep. To a Dal Bello dealer, check them out. Keep watching Ski Gear TV. No doubt. See you in the hills. All right. Thanks a lot. My pleasure.